Here now is today's featured dog tail story. Lie down, walk. Walk up, walk up. We walk, walk. Dogs and sheep herding have been around for Wee. thousands of years, teaching canines mental and physical discipline. Most people think that you have to have sheep to do herding, and you really don't. You can come out and take lessons and, and just give your dog a job, and it can be any breed. We have all breeds coming out for herding lessons, um, border collies, German shepherds, Australian shepherds, corgis. You name it, if it's a herding breed, it can come out here and use its natural instinct and have a good time. Be fly, walk. Yeah, the dogs that come out, the owners are originally come out looking for something fun for their dogs to do, and then a great majority of them get bitten by the herding bug, and then they start looking into what else they can do with this sport, and they get hooked, and they start going to herding competitions. And even in the L.A. area, there's, you know, herding competitions every few months. When I first get a dog that comes out for herding, we instinct test them. We put them on sheep to see what their natural instincts are. So we acquaint them with sheep, see what their drive is like, their herding abilities are like, and, and we just get them acquainted with sheep uh, the very first time. And if your dog shows that they have all this natural ability to work stock, then we continue working them in a small area so that they gain that confidence where they can catch the sheep. What they're wanting to do, which you have a lot of dogs that are wanting to chase cars or why they want to chase a ball, is because they want to stop that action. So when they're in here on sheep and the sheep are trying to get away, they want to get to that head to stop that action and bring them back to you. And that's what their natural abilities are. It's what herding is. In the very beginning classes, the trainer will take the dog into the round pen, and this is a round pen. It's about 60 feet diameter. And we use a, a round pen first so there's no corners where the dot where the sheep can get stuck and then also we have a small pen so that the the trainer can protect the sheep from the dogs that are a little overzealous in the beginning he is just lovely right off the bat so here we go pick him up right on the pike just straight on the money sometimes dogs catch on the very first day sometimes it takes a few months Every dog, just like people, their personalities are so different that it's uh, very different. So some dogs are instantly, the very first time, they're boom, right on it, bringing you sheep instantly all by themselves with no help. And it really doesn't matter what breed of dog you have as long as they have that herding ability. A lot of these dogs were bred hundreds of years ago to be herding dogs. Rottweilers were actually bred to drive cattle to market, and then they would put the money around their neck on the way home to protect that purse. So those were the actual original herding breeds, which people think are odd when they see, especially if you see a Rottweiler herding a duck. You think that's pretty funny. But actually, they're very talented at it and very finessey at it. So if I had a herd of ducks, you would need a dog to bring them in for you. Hey. So what we've... I, I, I. What we're going to ask her to do is go bring us these sheep nicely. Gave her a little scold there because what she did wasn't so nice. She didn't go up and ask them nicely. She was a little rough there. So I just reminded her, let's be a little nicer to our sheep. Our whole goal is to make the sheep happy. So that when we ask this dog to bring us the sheep, the sheep are happy. Lie down. Walk. Walk. Lie down. We. We. So we can put these sheep wherever we want, and the dog just uses their natural abilities to find that balance point, which is in the eye of the stock, to bring them straight to me. So that if I was on my front porch and a mile out, I had 100 head of sheep, that I would want her to go get them for me while I sat and had coffee. So I would just give her a command. She would go out, get the sheep, and bring them to me. As we progress and they learn that this is how we talk to sheep, then we start putting commands to it. Lie down, walk, that asks for certain behaviors, which is we, that means go right, lie down. Lie down and herding doesn't mean lie down, it just means stop. Come by, that's left, lie down, walk, walk is walk up, lie down, look back, look, and I just asked her to look for more sheep. And she's looking at those other ones out there, but she's no dummy. She knows there's a fence there and she can't get them. Lie down. And then you progress up to whistles. So we ask for a right. Is stop. Is left. And that's walk up. 
And how they're able to do this is they're using their eye to control the stalk. So what she's doing is she's trying to get in the eye of the sheep and make them come to us. Walk. Just by putting pressure on them. Lie down. Come. See how that sheep is moving off? She has to catch its eye to get them to hold still. After we learn the small, small area, and they've learned that, okay, I release my pressure, I go around, I catch sheep, I bring them to you, we go to a larger area to do that, to, and we progress on to, up into areas where they're working a mile away, two miles away from you, bringing you stock without you helping at all. It normally takes in herding, depending on the dog, anywhere from six months to three years to get completely trained. It just depends, again, on how talented the person is, how well they absorb it, and the talent of your dog. I brought Brazen here to um, let her try herding. She's a um, three-year-old Border Collie, um, an agility dog, and she does really well in agility, but she doesn't have the same love for it that she does for um, herding things. At home, she tends to want to herd the cars, the cat, um, my other dog, so I really wanted to do something for her that she would enjoy. So I wanted to bring her up here to a place where she could experience herding in a safe environment. There are so many different varied reasons that people get into herding. Uh, one of the first and foremost is it's the most challenging sport on the planet. I don't think people actually realize that because we're taking a predator and we're going to control a prey animal completely hands off. So I challenge anybody to show me a more challenging sport than sheepdog herding. But it's also the most rewarding because I can think it and my dog will go do it. And I can't find that in a human. So far, we are very happy with um, Robin. This is our, our first time in the ring in about a year and a half. It really helps her mentally to um, unwind, and it's really what she was bred to do. It makes her a much happier dog to live with. Uh, the dogs really seem to like the herding. It's a natural instinct for them, and it's really what they were, they were bred to do, and they, they love it. And that's a nice, cool reward for a job well done. <laughs>